Good morning everyone, Rai123 here today with the first in a series of tutorials for making your very own tycoon. Today we will be working on creating a leaderboard, so all you will need is to put a script into workspace. Now, if you don't know what a leaderboard is, you probably do, you just don't know it. It's the thing that shows up right here with the people's names and what teams they're on and different stats like KOs or knockouts or... Oh, that's the same thing. Or wipeouts or how much money they have. So, I, to start off, I'm going to show you how leader stats are set up. So, let me just throw in a few things here like a model and let's do two number values. Okay. So, let's say that this model right here the one called model is our player and then this one is our leader stats which is just right inside the player and then this one excuse the planes um, this one will be our money stat which we will put inside the leader stats so this is the player this is the leader stats and this is the money basically this one is just a number value that um, will it basically just stores everything all the number values so if you have like kills death money all of those numbers will go into this leader stats um, so that's it for that let's get back into the script so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make this script so that it works when a new player enters so like our last tutorial we are going to use oh crap we are going to use this function and then um, game dot players dot um, nope that's not child added connect on player added L I guess I put entered entered there we go so the first thing we are going to want to set up is that new um, is that leader stats thing we were talking about equals instance dot new I think they call it an int value when you do it with code and then we'll say stats dot name equals leader stats all lowercase and then we will put it inside the player dot parent equals player so that will set up that we want statistics for the players um, the next thing we're going to be needing it for, since we are doing a tycoon tat tycoon we will need something to show that the player does own a tycoon um, instance.new we're going to do the exact same thing pretty much I could just copy and paste this if I wasn't typing this out so you guys could see it and we're going to call this one tycoon make sure you copy me exactly when I'm doing these or else the later tutorials will probably be very difficult because everything's case sensitive so copy what I do exactly and we are also going to put this stat inside of the player the reason we don't put this one inside of the leader stats is because we don't we actually don't want it to show up in on the thing on the scoreboard because this is just going to be either one or zero one being they own a tycoon um, two being or zero being that they don't so we're actually going to want to start this one off as ah, I hate doing these in the morning because of those dang planes we're actually going to start this one off as zero so that we know that they don't own a tycoon and then when they get one later it'll change to one so that way they can't buy another tycoon now we're just going to have one more and we're gonna call this one cash and it's going to be another shoot int value 
so then you can say cash.name equals and this is where you'll put the name of your money we're gonna use money but you can use like cash coins gold whatever you want cash dot value here you can set a starting value for how much money you want your people to start out with and then we need to put the cash this time we're going to put it inside of the leader stats so we're gonna say stats so if we close this and play as you can see we have a hundred dollars and we have a leaderboard and if we go inside of our player over here it's set up like how I told you here's the tycoon here's the leader stats here's the money and if you look at the money's value it's a hundred dollars and if we change that it'll change it over here so that's it for this tutorial guys I know it was short I'll probably be adding another one today or tomorrow another short one and then we'll get into the real stuff like the buttons and the doors and everything so anyways guys thanks for watching please be sure to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later